get started. So thank you everybody for coming to today's May 24th Wabi Lake Lake Board. We could start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So first we have um, to review the posted meeting notices. Okay, in the packet are copies of the notices that were published at the appropriate, or posted at the appropriate places um, in a timely fashion to make this meeting in order. Great, and I will open public comment, <laughs> but seeing nobody here, I'm gonna go ahead and close public comment, and we'll go next to the business meeting minutes of May 16th. Um, and those are attached to in, in the packet yeah. uh, behind item number four, and if there's any questions, if not, we look for a motion. Motion by Jay Brody. Motion by Second. Jay Brody. Second by Commissioner Gershenson. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. Next, we have the closed session meeting minutes of May 16th, which also are they, are they're in the red envelope over there. Yes. So they're not in the packet because they're closed session minute meetings. But if they're anyone wants to take a look at them, I read them in the web packet. That's, Great. Oh, you said there'll be a private okay. uh, emailed. The e email web page. I had a chance to look at email today, sorry. Right. <laughs> Are you waiting for me? No, we, uh, we just take turns. We, yeah. Oh, take your Yeah, turn. you take yeah, turns you can, that. Yeah, yeah, that's the only copy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. We got chit-chatting before, and I forgot to pat, make sure we pass it around, but... These are usually pretty short and sweet. They are very short and sweet. There we go. I'm good. You've already seen it, so. Unless there's any changes or suggestions, I would look for a motion. Motion by Brody. Motion by Jay Brody. Support. Support by Commissioner Gershenson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That does pass. Next we'll have considering the approval of an amended budget for the fiscal year of 23-24. Okay, behind packet item number six is a uh, proposed amended budget. Um, the budget is amended because um, this a couple of days ago, and everyone has a copy of the order entered by the judge dismissing the Wabi Lake Board from the litigation that was brought against it. Um, the budget adopted uh, just several weeks ago included funding uh, for legal defense um, for that litigation. And um, we have been, of course, uh, disputing it vigorously and attempting to get it dismissed for uh, since it was filed. That just paid dividends uh, uh, on, on Monday, I believe. The judge entered the order, um, so we're happy to say that uh, the, you know, the money that was budgeted for the litigation defense is, is at this point no longer necessary. Um, so the number is going from twenty-five thousand dollars down to a proposed number of fifteen hundred or twenty-five hundred. Fifteen hundred is the number that. Um, I've been advised is a is what we should expect to see in the next bill, um, and then there's a, another thousand dollars just for cushion, in case there's something else that has to be resolved in any shape, way, shape, or form, um, and that's uh, that's one of the major changes. Um, also, uh, a portion of that savings I, I put in here and proposed to put into uh, building the fund balance back up, um, and it'll bring it back to roughly where it was before the litigation started. Um, without, uh, um, you know, but it's but still save a significant amount of money for each of the residents this year uh, by a reduction of um, just about twenty thousand dollars in the budget and therefore twenty thousand dollars in the assessment. I have some questions. Absolutely. Um, has the law firm submitted its final bill? No. Have they estimated the final bill, and that's where you came up with the number? Yes. Okay, so uh, is there any discussion with respect to why it would exceed the 1500? Uh, conservative judgment call on my part. Okay, okay. Uh, so to the extent that the 1500 is adequate, that just increases the reserve? It would. Good, okay. Um, I don't know if this is the appropriate time, but I'll ask the question. It's about this it is. About, anything about, about this? Is anything time about to this? Ask. Okay. Um, I saw that the riparians are assessed one and that the access owners are assessed a quarter, so that in essence that the assessment is four times the riparian amount for the access owners. Uh, 
I have no problem with that. I understand it. I've been on the lake for 22 years. Um, I know that I have a personal preference when I receive a bill, getting even dollar figures. So I calculated out what would happen with a $300 assessment for the riparians and $75 assessment to the access owners. And in essence, we increased the uh, reserve by maybe an extra $1,000 over and above what the current assessment is. So uh, I was just basically thinking that maybe in the future, uh, we just sort of, you know, calculate it a little bit differently in that regard so that in essence the riparians pay 292, 296, 300, 278, something like that that's e evil, evil, evenly divisible, uh, that's all. So, uh, so what we do now is we come up with what the budget is, then divide it by the units of benefit that are available, and that's why the number looks a little, it's, uh, it's not rounded, so it's like for a riparian it's 293.77. Uh, that I understand, and, and the way that I would do it would just increase or decrease the reserve. The fact is is that you're, you're doing it based upon the budget amount, and then you therefore have to project out to what you want the reserve to be with respect to uh, that particular rounded number. I'll just There's different ways of skinning a cat. It was just a different way that I thought that might be easier in the future. And so uh, I know that you read my email. I did, <laughs> and responded. Okay. So we're yeah, happy to do that. Um, this one is a, is a one-year assessment. Next year, we'll be sitting yeah, all over again, yeah. and we can talk about it. Okay, so I, I just know that, you know, it's to me, 300 rather than 270, 377 is... is uh, it's an easier just, check just, to write. Right, to write by its 27 bucks, but uh, but I just knew that it was just uh, uh, to me a little bit more rational the way I do my accounting. That's all. They're not near the top of the because once you reach a certain point, we aren't supposed to put any more in your fund balance. They're no. not near the top, right? No. So we could. No. Do They're it between the 10 and 15 percent. Okay. Because well, some this are would over, be so you have we... to go lower. You, like you can't add on, but yours isn't like that. So is, is the is the 10 to 15 percent uh, an accounting recommendation or statutory? Statutory. Statutory. Okay. So in essence, then what we might need to do for next year is to understand uh, what our statutory amount maximum is and, and get us to in that regard to the to the right balance. Okay. I'll work with you and get that done. Right. Okay, super. Uh, how does the um, delinquent assessments that are moved to the tax roll that are not collected at present affect it? Because of the fact that we're budgeting for those assessments that are not yet collected but part of the budget, to the extent that we don't collect those assessments until one, two, three years, et cetera, when the Oakland County Treasurer collects it through the tax rolls, then that turns around and increases our, our reserve at the time we receive it. And so at present, even though we've projected our reserve based upon the current budget, it will be less than that because of the amount of money that's been moved to the delinquent assessment for the tax rolls? So I have a two-part answer to that. The first part is in practice, um, it, it doesn't work that way. In practice, we are collecting what's been assessed plus a late fee. So um, in practice, what we see is that individuals that don't pay it on time, like I don't know what this one will be, whether it's uh, by let's July just, 1. Let's just assume it's $1,500 or something. So if they don't pay by that date, it goes on to the, the, the township tax rolls. Um, in each instance, we're seeing, and then there's a, a penalty applied. Mm -hmm. So if the per month. So if the, uh, the fund balance will show revenue generated through the assessment and revenue generated through fees. And uh, every year we match the assessed amount, some additional amount for fees. So I've yet to see it actually have to go to the county for collection and, and delayed in the way you're saying. Oh, okay, so theoretically so it could happen, but can, it doesn't can I, happen. Can I stop and ask this question? Yep. So then if 10 people don't pay the assessment by the assessment date, we're really not in the position in which they are fully delinquent moving to the tax rolls because we are collecting it between the assessment date and the time of the tax roll. Uh, uh, is that what you're we, telling me? Yes, it's either collected uh, just late or it's collected on the tax rolls at the end of the year. 
So if it's never, it hasn't gone to the county yet in an instance that I'm aware of. So from a timing issue, if it's collected on the tax rolls at the end of the year, we still get it in our fiscal year in order to bring our revenues up to what we projected our revenues to be? Yes, because our fiscal year is, is uh, April 1st to March 31st. Okay. So now what happens if it's moved to the tax rolls, but they haven't paid the taxes and they go into the three-year tax foreclosure p period <laughs> in, in, in which... What is this, a law school question? <laughs> No, it, it's just it's just a financial accounting question with respect to the receipt of the dollars and cents and the timing on it. Sure. So in essence, if if somebody hasn't paid their tax their lake assessment for two years and it's moved to the tax rolls and they haven't paid it as part of the Oakland County Treasurer's dollars, so that the treasurer can send us money in order to be 100% collected, we end up having whatever that difference is that's uncollected at Oakland County being a reduction of what we would have received as part of our reserve calculation. And what I can do is find out from Jason if this has happened. Um, I personally can't think of any lake that it's yeah, happened it's, on at all, of any no, of them. No. But I will find out if this is a um, something we legitimately should be worried about, and we will find a way to fix it for you. Well, but it's, I, not it it's not a question of fixing. It's not a question of fixing. nothing to fix. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's unfortunately, it's the, my background is to try and understand the cash flows and the dollars and the timing. And so to the extent that we're building a reserve, but we don't get the revenues in because it went to late payments if onto the tax yeah. rolls and that the county treasurer didn't collect the t can't collect it on the tax rolls, then we didn't get the revenues during that fiscal year period that we're, we're budgeting we'll, for. We'll check. It would be similar like to us. Anytime yes. people don't pay the taxes, we also, as a township, it would be have exact. to worry about these things. It, but it, it it happens a lot more to the township than it has to lake boards. Yeah, so I'm, I'm new. I'm just under yeah. get, getting the, the understanding oh, okay. of the I think you'll be Thank okay, you. though, because the few totally. that might affect it wouldn't affect your fund balance enough to throw you out of 10 to 15. Right. No, I, I understand. So you'd be fine. Right. I was just trying to understand how big the reserve can be and, and whatever. So now I'm learning. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Any other questions? No, that was it. Okay. I think people will be happy, though, about this change. Cause oh, sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No need to charge what we don't need to charge. We'll add a little cover letter to the assessment that goes out to yeah. notify them of the dismissal and the good news. Right. So what, because, by the way, we, when we heard this was coming down the pike, we did not send out the last assessment. So we, the, when the board met now, what has it been two weeks? Uh, we, the 16th. We approved, 16th, we approved a, a much higher assessment to pay for the litigation expenses they were anticipated. Uh, but when we heard this was coming down, we didn't actually mail out that assessment. So everyone's thinking they're getting a much larger assessment. When this shows up, we'll put a, a cover letter explaining why that it's a it's Shelby Money and Dana Rosenberg will be happy. Excellent. And many others. Well, they were the only ones who showed up for public comment, so. We definitely got some comments, So People email a lot. Oh, they do? Okay. A lot. So okay. I think most I, I didn't people see them tend in the, to. I didn't see them in the packet. No, if they email us directly as opposed to public comment. It's what? Of, uh, someone can email someone privately directly as opposed to public comment. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, for example, like we often don't have people watching, but if we have an important agenda item from the town, on a typical day, I get probably 300 to 400 emails a day because um, we have 45,000 residents. A lot of people have questions, but they don't necessarily want to stand at the podium and be heard or be part of a, pu like a, they don't want to always be on on show. So gotcha. sometimes they'll reach out privately and just okay. say, what's going on? <laughs> so you do have an engaged lake, I will say, that they do care about it, they love it, okay. and it's a good thing. Marsha, you find the same as a commissioner? Pardon me? You find the same problem as a commissioner? Which problem? Which one? 300 emails a day. Oh, a lot. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because you have probably even more, I mean, you represent a lot of areas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other, if there's no other questions, I guess we can move to a motion. All right. Any other questions? Motion to approve the reduced budget. Motion by Jay Brody. Support. Support by Clerk Brook. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? That does pass. So now we have consider or the presentation of the revised Wabi Lake assessment roll. So behind uh, packet number seven is uh, uh, two um, assessment rolls, one that's redlined for the changes, uh, which indicate that it was a, an amended assessment roll and indicates the, the lower amount being assessed um, and then a clean version um, for execution. And this implements the budget uh, a reduction that we just passed a moment ago. Are there any questions? 
You have the one in there with the uh, with the correct amount, right? Because I have the old one written down. Did the revised packet? You know how they had yeah, a change. Yeah, there's a revised packet. I have the old okay. one too, but the revised packet is. It'll have the right online. Amount. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any questions? No. If not, then I'd look for a, uh, a motion. Motion by. Marshall, I guess. Second by, by Jay. Commissioner Gershison. Second by Jay Brody. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. So next is to consider approval of an amended resolution confirming the Wabi Lake Special Assessment Roll. Okay, and that's behind us. Oh. Now, well, oh, sorry. We did the presentation. We sort of all did that at once. Yeah. And we I kind of lumped those together. two together. Presentation and consideration. Sorry. sorry. Um, so next we have other business. Is there anything else that anyone wants to talk about relating to the lake? Lake Board business? No? Okay. Then the next one is to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Motion by Clerk Broke. A, a second. Support <laughs> by Jay Brody. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That does pass. Thanks. Okay. Thank I, you. I, I have a